Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov, and this is How to Make a Box and Arrows Diagram. Now, box and arrows diagrams have many uses. Today we're going to look at two. One would be a flowchart of uh, decisions you make after other decisions. So, for example, if you were driving and you wanted to pick up your kids and pick up a cake, but you needed gas, we would make a box for gas and then a box for kids or cake. But the arrow would flow from gas because you can't pick up your kids or pick up the cake without getting gas first. Uh, so this is more simple for organization. Now you could also, in say biology and mathematics, have a box and arrows diagram that computes something a little more complex. For example, uh, say energy offered and energy, which I'll now uh, abbreviate to EN, uh, used. And you might see some math below it. For example, kilocalories per meter squared and kilocalories per meter squared. And again, because this is where the arrow is flowing from, usually this would be the bigger value than this would be the smaller value, as the energy used probably couldn't be greater than the energy offered. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and this is How to Make a Box and Arrows Diagram. <laughs>